Welcome to Instrumentation Tools. Open the app Quiz Meter. In that we have a PLC session. PLC true or false. So in the previous two videos we have seen the level 1 and level 2. And today in this video we are going to see the level 3. So let's click on level 3. You are going to face 10 questions related to the PLC. So the first question, functional block diagram in PLC supports the use of reusable custom function blocks. So functional block diagram is one of the five languages that we use to write the PLC program. So functional block diagram actually allows the creation and utilization of custom reusable functional block in PLC programming. So because of this modularity and efficiency in developing and maintaining control algorithm is more. So the answer to the question is true. It supports the reusable custom function blocks. Second question, in PLC system, IO modules are responsible for interfacing between the PLC processor and the physical input and output of the system. So, a PLC uh, integrator type PLC will be having the inbuilt IOs, but in the modular type PLC, we will be having the IO modules that's what we are calling that as IO modules so what the role of what is the role of IO modules means as they have mentioned it is used to make the communication between the processor that means our CPU and the physical inputs and outputs so for the integrated module you can directly connect the inputs to the CPU but in the modular you know type of PLC you need a support of extra modules that we call that as IO modules. You are going to connect the input to the modules means that will be the input module and in output module we will be connecting the outputs. So the answer to the question is true. We need and the IO modules are actually responsible for interfacing between the PLC processor and physical inputs and outputs. So I am going with the answer true. Third question, a PLC's memory is volatile, meaning all data is lost when power is removed. So, if a PLC memory is volatile, think about in a shop floor. If a PLC memory is volatile, you are doing some process in between and there is a power off and all your data will get lost and once you turn on, again you will start the process. No, right? It's not, you know, feasible, no? So, a PLC will be having a volatile memory also, but what and all data we are going to process, no, that will be storing in the non-volatile memory. So, while PLC do have a volatile memory that loses data when power is removed, they also contain a non-volatile memory where we are storing the user program and crucial data. Non-volatile memory retains information even when the power is lost, ensuring that the PLC can resume its operation when the power is restored. So the answer to the question is, PLC memory is volatile, meaning all data is lost when power is removed. Actually, this is a false statement. So fourth question. Analog IO modules in PLC can only process binary signals. So we know what is binary, right? Zeros and ones. And what they have given is analog IO modules. Analog IO modules will be having, uh, you know, tendency to handle the continuous signals. That means uh, that may be uh, input of pressure, temperature, voltage, current, kind of. It will be dealing with all the continuous signals not with a binary values that means uh, you know digital inputs 
so if you want to deal with the digital i mean the binary signals you need to go for the digital io module so the given statement is false so fifth question continuous function chart is a graphical language allowing free placement of functional blocks in plcs so the answer to the question is actually true why means a cfc is a graphical language in plc that allows free placement and connection it provides flexibility in designing control algorithm without specific structural constraint so the answer to the question is true move on to the next one sfc sequential functional chart in plc is limited to linear sequence and cannot represent parallel or branching process so a sequential functional chart is also one of the language in plc if it is constrained with only you know linear sequence and cannot able to do the parallel or branching process means how come we can do the whole application using this sfc it is conflicting right so in sfc also we can able to do a comprehensive way to describe complex control tasks task and workflow so the answer to the question is false because in sfc we can do all you know parallel and branching processes also so i'm going with the answer false so we have a seventh question il instruction list is a plc programming language suitable for programmers familiar with low level programming or machine language so il is a instruction list is actually a low level programming language is only it resembles kind of assembly or machine language making it suitable for those familiar with low level programming and needing you know detailed control over logic so the answer to the question is true so we have a eighth question here hot swapping refers to the ability to replace or add io modules in a plc without shutting down the system so there is a term in a shop floor that is a hot swapping so what is hot swapping we have to understand so as they mentioned actually a hot swapping refers to, refers to the ability to replace or add io modules or other components in the plc system without shutting down the entire system so why we are having this option in the shop floor this capability is valuable in minimizing downtime during maintenance replace or system expansion allowing changes to be made without disturbing ongoing processes so you have some application running in the shop floor in the time if you want to do some repair or if you want to do you know uh, change or add the io modules means no need to shut down the old system you can do the hot swapping so the answer to the question is true so we have the ninth one here sfc sequential function chart is a plc programming language suitable for modeling sequential processes so yes sfc is a graphical programming lang language specifically designed to model sequential process it represents the control logic as a series of steps and transition providing a clear and structured way to design document and implement complex sequences sfc is particularly useful in application where order and timing of operations are critical such as in batch processing so the answer to the question is yes true so here comes the last question structured text in plcs can only be used for simple logical operation and cannot handle complex algorithm this is similar to one of the questions we have seen before right so obviously st is one of the language for the programming in the plc if it is handling only a simple logic operation how come we can implement 
you know structured text in the whole project so the answer to the question is false so we are done with all 10 questions let's move on to the result page yes so we have cracked all 10 questions so you can review the answers you will get all you know description for all the questions why this is true and why that is false kind of if you have a doubt you can go and re review the answers and also you can move to the next level from here and uh, there is an option to share your score with your friends so those who are all interested in these kind of questions can also attend along with you and i'll meet you in the next session with another interesting level thank you